Hi everyone, hope you're good. So one of the most frustrating things I've ever experienced when working with my dough, like you know, composing, um, uh, doing some editing and mixing stuff, uh, is that I always end up performing a thousand times pretty much the same bunches of operation, isn't it? You know, moving your uh, fingers across the same place in your computer keyboard, clicking the same keys or combination of keys. Shortcuts, obviously, are a clear benediction if you want to improve your workflow and spend way less time in your dough. Then I start looking to some professional uh, digital composers on their YouTube channels or during the live streamings. And I really couldn't believe how fast they are. But it is not just a matter of experience. Uh, it is definitely not just a matter of knowing all your favorite shortcuts by heart. I mean, when I was looking at them, they did not even touch any key on their keyboard and they didn't move their mouse at all. Yeah, they were accomplishing uh, some complex operations. So, what was their magic? Well, no magic at all, indeed. Just trackballs like that, or gaming mice like that. Uh, I must confess, I'm not a gamer, and I really did not know um, about even the mere existence of this sort of mice usually provided with uh, many adjustable and programmable buttons. And so I didn't even imagine they could have been used to speed up our workflow when using um, a sequencer and not playing the game, you know. Uh, I feel I've been just a bit naive, but it's never too late, I guess. So during the last month, I've definitely made up for last time. I wanna share with you my own experience today just in case, you know, you're wondering if this gears uh, could be of an help for you as well. So let's begin with the trackball mouse. It has been my first purchase, the so-called Slim Blade trackball mouse by Kensington. I must say it's not so cheap and I had absolutely no idea of its pros and cons for my workflow, but I knew that um, it is used at least by <coughs> some the most famous Hollywood film composers, like, for instance, Jeff Rosso. Uh, actually, I think uh, Jeff Rosso has been the first professional I happen to know to use this mouse. Well, anyway, uh, you have four buttons, two on the top, one, two, and two buttons uh, on the bottom, three and four. You can assign them pretty much whichever shortcut and key command uh, you want to. Plus, you can have two more combination pressing the two top buttons together, like that, or the two place here in the lower side. So, four buttons plus first combination and second combination. So, uh, six, let's say, assignable buttons uh, in total. I must say, you have to get used to it. Be patient. Because it is definitely not a standard mouse and you'll have to face up with a sort of um, learning curve before you're gonna tell if this is the right mouse for you. I have a pretty funny backstory now for you. I remember the first time I used it for let's say one hour. After that I really unplugged immediately the USB cable, put the trackball aside and started to feel I know some sort of frustration, disappointed and defeated. Uh, the day after I spent with it almost three hours and I just fell in love with it. I think the main reason why pros use this trackball mouse ties in with its obvious nature. It is still. You don't have to move it. It stands just still over the place you want. Uh, all, I, all you have to do is move you know, that ball with your finger and you have to believe me this is the most precise pointer you could ask from any mouse at all. So, why did I decide to dismiss it and move to a gaming mouse? Well, I want to reassure you now. Um, I've got a problem with my own right hand, actually with my left as well. But come on, this is another story. It usually gets really tired and heavy after, let's say, 
a certain amount of time right, when I'm using it. And I realized that with this track ball here, it gets even more exhausted in a shorter spot of time. Anyway, if I didn't have this health problem, I would find myself perfectly well with this trackable mouse. No doubt, period. Trust me. So this is Zelotis T90, the mouse uh, which I use now. Uh, and it has been my second choice after the trackball mouse. Why this mouse? Well, for two reasons. First, it is really cheap. Second, I'm a Mac user and unfortunately I couldn't find so many gaming mice for OS X platform. The vast majority being intended, you know, for Windows. It is provided with eight assignable buttons. One, two, three, four, and then uh, five, six, seven, and eight. The truck, the sorry, the the scroll wheel uh, is intended even uh, with a sort of uh, middle button here. Uh, plus, you can have a sort of uh, combination between these buttons. It is not so precise as the King Sintone's trackballs here, but alas, for like 20 euros, I think it's a good one. And now last, but by far not least, I just want to let you see it in action uh, with logic. So I maintain left and right buttons here as default, like um, primary left and right click buttons then a scroll wheel like standard scroll wheel vertically but with hold and shift you can scroll horizontally and by the way uh, if you hold option and, and move the um, scroll wheel you can zoom in out uh, vertically and shift option zoom in out horizontally um, then the front button here this guy performs a double click so for instance uh, at least here in logic when i go here and press the, this front button it just adds uh, a new track with uh, one touch uh, then one of my favorite probably the most favorite um button uh, assignable button here the number four because uh, when i press it you know i switch between a range window and a full screen piano roll editor which is really 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 helpful and handy when uh, composing uh, number five here I set uh, I set it for repeating events like for instance I go here then I create a region then I press this button and just repeat the region Okay, then I go, for instance, inside the piano roll, I write some notes, then I select this one, then I press this and I repeat. Okay, so it's really uh, speeding up your workflow in that way. <clears throat> uh, then some useful, at least for myself, combination like uh, um, button number four um, plus left click so when pressed together they delete event like that i select this one i press four and left button and i delete then uh, the f number four uh, again with the middle button here the one of uh, the scroll wheel for muting or a muting track then number five plus the left click at least when I find myself in the piano roll uh, for uh, selecting the scissor tool like that here okay so I guess this is tool and um, button number five plus uh, um, middle button here come back to uh, the pointer tool oh I forgot uh, middle button here by itself 
it opens the instrument plugin window. So I could do like that, press, and it should open um, <laughs> contact here, yeah, right here. Okay, so just in one touch. So yeah, that's it. Let me know here below uh, which is your go-to mouse, at least if you have one, you do. Before this mice here, uh, I use the so-called magic mouse, which is really smart and handy, but it hasn't assemble buttons at all. So, you know, thanks Apple. Good try. Anyways, man, don't forget to subscribe. What do you see here, here, whatever, I don't know. And ding that bell icon uh, if you want to be notified every time I put a video up. So for the time being, thank you for watching and see you next time. Take care.